As we told you earlier, the sun just moved over the equator, which signifies the start of spring. But today, northern Europe was dazzled by a trick of the moon. Charlie Daggett tells us about the solar eclipse. The hottest seat in the house was the icy Norwegian island of Svalbard to watch the spectacular celestial ballet. Who else has an ice cream? In Britain, police handed out special glasses. School children gazed in wonder. To protect their eyesight from the sun's harmful rays, some people knocked up cardboard boxes and used kitchen colanders to project the image onto paper. Astronomer Dr. Sheila Kanani told us eclipses can sometimes affect animals too. It does freak out animals. They think it's night time and they go quiet and stuff. Those devoted to following eclipses call themselves umbrophiles for inhabits the shadows. Although seven-year-old umbrophile Theo Parrott found his first eclipse a bit tough to explain. It's supposed to go all dark and the a planet goes up over a planet. So if the sun goes in front of the moon, the shadow of the, the sun goes all the light on the to the moon. Well, if the sun went in front of the moon, we wouldn't be here to tell the story. But the moon next goes in front of the sun, August 2017, right in the United States. Charlie Daggett, CBS News, London.